Hi everyone, I am Akar. Welcome to our Laravel real time chat application series. In this series, we are going to learn how to create a chat application in Laravel using React.js. And of course, we will use Laravel WebSocket to make that. So, let's start. Let's see a quick demo what will be our final our output. So, we will create a list of users. So, we can communicate to, we can send message to any of the users so we'll use react here and also laravel websocket server laravel event broadcasting and so on so before going to start we need to learn what is websocket so as we know http is a communication protocol and websocket is same as that websocket is also a communication protocol but websocket is a bi-directional communication protocol that means it can send the data from the client to the server and simultaneously from the server to the client that means it it can do the two two type two type of things it, uh, that's why it's called bidirectional communication protocol so let's see how http works to understand better how websocket work when a user sends a request to the server sends a request to the server and server receive it and do whatever things and just response response back and after that server will close this um, this protocol this this is just terminated by itself itself and what the t what the http connection established the connection just closed then so how websocket protocol works so in websocket yeah, we have already said that it's a bidirectional protocol that means websocket is initiated by sending a websocket handshake request from a browser so normally in our http we have seen that just uh, client set an http request but in websocket he is not only send an http request he sent a handshake handshake request from browser and um, is uh, and that actually http connection to server to upgrade the connection so it actually requests server to upgrade a handshake websocket handshake connection so along with the upgrade request header so it send the upgrade request header and it also requires include a 64 bit seg websocket key header so the server responds with a hash of the key so it responds a hash of the key and after that there's a handshake after a com complete handshake there's a connection established and this is websocket connection so if we get a close overlook the difference between http and websocket so in http we send a re request from client and server response back and connection terminated that's that's simple but in websocket so client request and definitely uh, we at with handshake request server and server do the handshaking after handshaking they communicate with each other using websocket so how laravel can uh, help with us on, on this so laravel in uh, we, we have seen uh, that in the server 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 needs to needs that handshaking system and websocket protocoling system or it needs the server so our laravel application is the server which will actually se send a broadcast event that means it brought it will broadcast an event suppose let's say for our chat application server will broadcast an event that message sent that means our message sent to someone he'll just broadcast this event to the internet okay and definitely there will be a client client will listen that and a and broadcast event would be happen on a channel so and definitely this would be created on a channel like we can create a message messenger channel or whatever and client will li listen the channel using a library a client library eco is a client library which is laravel already providing and like messages channel and dot listen will be listening that event like message sent event into listening that event so then then client can do anything client can get the data from the server and do anything and simultaneously with the server so laravel can create actually an websocket server which can communicate with client and there are some existing libraries to do this stuff you don't need do many, many things if you you follow the existing library there's uh, pusher.js and evly and there is some custom websocket server we can implement in our laravel application we can do that there is a open source popular uh, package laravel websocket beyond the code 
uh, that is the author of the author of this package and also we can use the socket here. and in this episode or in this series we will not use this pusher json only these are very simple you can implement this service very easily by doing, by checking the documentation and i will create a custom web socket server uh, which will do the necessary stuffs so that's it for today and next day we will set up our laravel application with laravel bridge and follow the rest of the tutorial if you have any question please do the do your question and in the comment box and definitely subscribe to my channel and like the video bye bye